No. Well. <laughs>
Um, and they also went out and got tight end Hunter Long. Um, you know, not a not a bad pick. Um, I don't think they're going to use him for anything else other than maybe blocking because he's a better blocker than Mike Kosicki. But I don't know. But I, I, I'm actually fine with the pick. Not like one I'm super happy about, but not super mad about either. It's just, it's just in a way, just kind of a, a good pick for me. Uh, now the two other picks in round seven, uh, Larnell Coleman and Jared Dokes. Sorry if I'm saying them wrong, but I, I would be lying to you if I said I really knew anything about them, to be honest with you. But I mean, you know, it's, it's whatever. It's just seventh round pick. So we'll give them a shot. You never know. Some of those late round picks turn out to be super studs. So anyway, I would probably give this Dolphins draft an A minus. Uh, only reason it's a little lower on the A grade is because of the Jalen Waddle pick. I'll still just give it some time. And um, I also just don't really know the, the last two picks. But um, but yeah, I, I'm actually super ecstatic and happy about that 2021 draft. I really, really am. Let me know what you guys think about it because I loved it. I liked it way better than last year's. And I think in general, we're actually having a better offseason than last year. So this really does just kind of depend on Tua because the it's not just the defense that's loaded now. This offense is actually really good too. Uh, I, you have Devontae Parker, Will Fuller, and now Jalen Waddle there uh, and Mike Kosicki for your receiving threats and Hunter Long too. And even this O line is now improved. So this really is just kind of all on Tua, but maybe that's for another video. Let me know what you guys think about the draft. Do you think we did good? Do you think we did bad? Let me know in the comments below. And until next time, Finn fans, fins up.